Hello everyone, it's Miros and you know what? Today I decided to make a different video. Here is the Oppo Find X Pro. Here it is actually. And on the other side, what we have? Xiaomi 12. This is not a Pro. I know it's not a Pro, but this is what I can afford. So, Xiaomi 12 and Oppo Find X Pro. And why we are doing this? Because you know, this device, Xiaomi 12, is using Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and this one, Oppo Find X Pro, is using Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. So, both of these devices are using same CPU. Yes, I know this one is smaller, but this is what I have. I just don't have the Pro, I have the regular 12, but anyway, it is using Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. The major difference between these two devices are this one has 8 gigs of RAM and this one has a 12 gigs of RAM. This is not a big issue for today's test because we are testing the CPU and this is a throttling test. Will this device throttle first or this will be the first one? Okay, let's remove the boxes. Let's separate them. So no recent tasks here and also no recent tasks here. You can see both devices are charged to 100%. Both devices are connected just to just to a Wi-Fi network and auto brightness is on. Okay, we can start the test and check which device will throttle first. But before we start, of course, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do this now and hit that bell icon down there so you can be always notified when I upload a new video. Let's start the applications. CPU throttle and for accurate CPU throttling result, start test while device is cold. 10 minute, not in use, recommended, more if device was hot and with no processes running in the background. So, I just charged these devices, probably before 20 minutes, clear the recent, so they are now cool and we can proceed. Alright, let's tap OK. Let's check the settings. Options here, options here, number of treats, 20, we can increase that, but let's leave it for 20 and I think 10 minutes are enough for now. So 10 minutes here and 10 minutes here. Let's save this. And here comes our friend, the temperature gun. Let's check the temperatures on both devices before we start. Let's check the Xiaomi first. 23 for it and the Oppo 24.4 so the Oppo is one degree hotter but this is nothing I think 24 or 23 degrees is plenty cold for these devices and let's now check the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 throttling Alright, the 10 minute loop just finished and you can see the result where the Xiaomi goes. It just drops very, very down. On, let's check the temperatures. 34, 37.5 for the Oppo. So guys, you can see that Oppo are doing better job with the thermals, but keep in mind that this device is twice the price of this one. You can see Xiaomi is starting at better performance and it's going to lower performance. Very big difference and very big gap here. But here it is starting at not so maximum performance and finish with average performance but of course better than the Xiaomi. Of course we are going always for wildlife extreme stress test. The wildlife extreme stress test is a demanding 20 minute test that shows how the device performs under a long periods of heavy load. Instead of producing a single core, the main result 
from the stress test is a chart showing how the device managed performance and heat during heavy use. We are here for the heat and that's why we'll start it. Let's just download it. Let's check one more time. 29 and 30 here. Alright, the gun is here to keep the devices cool and now let's just tap on the play button. And you can see guys what's really happened with both devices. Your device is overheating, close some apps running in the background for now. That's what happened in our Xiaomi device. Can't use apps due to device overheating. Here what's happened absolutely same. It is just close the 3D mark stress test and this test guys is really smashing the phones and their CPUs it just demolish everything. Devices are overheating and just stop the test. I didn't do this test for a long period of time but last time I did it it was with Xiaomi 11 and it never ends the test. Always overheating. And these are the results and you know what guys I will just leave the conclusion to you but you know what that means? That means this CPU Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 created by Qualcomm and manufactured by Samsung is just not good. It's overheating and just you can't make a simple extreme stress test. In a device with an older CPU it will be okay but these new CPUs they are just pushing the boundaries. They are creating this peak performance but overall performance is very bad. Frames are dropping, overheating. That's what happened with Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. So guys, for now, we are waiting for the new Snapdragon Gen 2 CPU and of course we will test it. And before that, I will just test the Google Tensor 2 CPU and we'll see if it will finish the test. It will, if it uh, just finish the test, it is okay. It has a good thermos, it will just work. Not with the best peak performance, but it will just do the work. And that was it guys, thanks for watching, if you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.